Hooked up. What I'd like to do is have some people come out and cast and let's and see how you improve your cat. Anybody, and I can teach any woman I ain't married to. Anybody want to try it? Men or women? There you are. What's your first name? John. Okay, John. All right, John, go ahead and cast. Okay, you can see it. John ain't listening to a damn thing I had to say. <laughs> That's why nobody stepped out here. If you don't want simply, if you want simply, don't come out here. Now, first he flopped his wrist back and forth. Second, he raised his elbow, and he never looked in back cast because I look at your back cast this time. Look at that sorry thing. <laughs> now, gonna do a couple things, huh? Thumb behind there. Drop your foot back. Back here. Yeah. Now we turn this thumb so it. This thumb should be behind this rod handle from the target. His thumb was pointed down here, so when we went back, he twisted his line. You just go relaxed. Just let me do it. Okay. So here's what you do. You go back, stop. No, don't bend the wrist. He bent the wrist this much, but look at that. What that's doing to your cast. You gotta really keep that stiff then. Yeah. Okay. You're casting with your arm, Johnny. All right. And you pivot, pivot. All right, now we got part of it. Now, <laughs> stay here with me. I'm going to do this on the grass first so you understand. Everybody here will tighten their loop if they use this exercise. With women, I usually have them use the exercise. With men, they'll do the exercise two or three times, get a great tight loop, then they admire the loop, and they ain't doing what you're supposed to do, is looking at the end of the rod. Imagine that I'm trying to make that line hit that rod. I'm throwing the line at the end of the rod. Throwing it at the line. What everybody does is duck the rod, which is what John's doing right now. When he comes forward, he's ending up down here. This line is attached at the tip. So if you throw a tight loop and don't drop the rod right away, it won't come down. Drop it right away, you just destroyed your own loop. You just pulled it apart. This is an exercise that will teach you to do this. Now, John, you hold this with me, right. and you stop on the back cast, and you stop on the forward cast. Okay, let me do it once. Okay. So you're trying to hit. No, don't bend the wrist. Try to look at the tip of the rod. See it? Can you mm -hmm. see what I'm doing? Yeah. Okay, try it. Typical day of man, I said stop at the end of the back cast, stop at the end of the forward cast. He's admiring what he's doing. He ain't doing anything I'm asking him to do. You can teach a woman, if you ain't married to her, going with her three times faster than you can teach a man. Thumb behind the cork from the target. Stop. Stop. So you see, this lets you see what you're doing. You see the loops tightening? And if you didn't bend his wrist, they'd tighten better. <clears throat> like that. <clears throat> now do it in the air. Up here. Look at the tip. Look at the tip. Gotta watch the tip. No, just keep going. Just keep false cast. Now, it's doing pretty good. The problem is it's using way too much force. You don't need muscle to do this. You need to stop the rod in a straight line. Don't pound on the rod because that's what's going to happen. Smoothly accelerate. Stop. Move the accelerate, stop. Faster, it goes better. Faster, it goes better. You're doing good, John. You're making all the mistakes I want you to. <laughs> Glad to help you. <laughs> but now we do the same thing. Let me do it. Look at the tip of your rod. All right. You see how a little effort involved? Yeah. Just throw the tip. The reason for the big loops is two things. He ain't got his thumb behind the cork and he's bending his wrist. A little bit here is a whole lot out there. Now, don't bend your wrist and throw at the tip. Throw it. You remember them sorry looking things he was throwing when he came out here? That looks a lot better. Okay, thank you. What causes all tailing loops? I can make tailing loops 12 ways.
People tell you to shock a rod, you get a tail. That's shocking a rod. This ain't tailing. People say if you start too soon, it's tail rod. But this is not tail.